Jackie Chan is here. Remember, I'm not letting you do any stunts, okay? Mr. Chan! You want to make a movie with my client, Diet Pepsi? Your client will be perfect. We would insist on a stunt double. No problem. Watch my back, okay? Look at you. You look great. Aren't you glad you didn't do the stunts? Pat Jeff Gordon. Mm. I just love the way he gets in his car. Oh, that's smooth. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Could possess a man to drive like that. Oh, gotcha. He's making his move backward. Gordon Swin. We gotta get him a cup holder. In real life, getting a Pepsi isn't anything like this. A product like Pepsi is sold through a channel of distribution. Pepsi's channel of distribution in North America is best described as a vertical marketing system in which the Pepsi-Cola company manufactures and markets concentrates for Pepsi, Mountain Dew, Mug, Sierra Mist, Slice, and other brands for sale to franchise bottlers. Pepsi's franchise bottlers mix the concentrate with carbonated water, bottle the product, and distribute the product to retailers. Pepsi's bottlers act as full-service merchant wholesalers in a contractual channel providing many distribution and selling services to their retail clients. Bottlers also implement PepsiCo sales and merchandising plans for the various soft drinks that they bottle and distribute. PepsiCo's three anchor bottlers distribute approximately three-fourths of PepsiCo's beverage products in North America. Pepsi Americas Incorporated, with 3.2 billion in revenue, is the second largest Pepsi Cola anchor bottler with operations in 10 countries around the globe. This very large bottler and wholesaler accounts for nearly 20% of PepsiCo's beverage volume. Pepsi Americas manufactures, packages, sells, and distributes carbonated and non-carbonated Pepsi Cola beverages, Cadbury beverages, and other national and regional brands in the U.S. Central Europe and the Caribbean. The company has exclusive franchise agreements with soft drink concentrate producers such as PepsiCo to package, sell, and distribute branded products to retailers within its territory. PepsiCo and other soft drink concentrate producers own their brands and formula rights. They develop new products like Pepsi's Sierra Mist, Mountain Dew Code Red, and Pepsi Twist and they promote their brands through advertising and sales promotion. There's a new vanilla in town. Introducing Pepsi Vanilla. The perfect blend of cola and vanilla. That was awesome. That's not so vanilla. This distribution facility in Louisville, Kentucky is owned by Pepsi Americas. It receives bottled products from the company's bottling plants and delivers them to retailers throughout the market. We have three channels of distribution. There's large format, small format, and on-premise. In our large format, this would include customers such as Kroger and Walmart, where they have shelves, large displays, where people have take-home purchases. The second channel is the small format. This would include customers such as Walgreens, uh, Dairy Mart, Thornton's. Uh, this is where impulse purchases occur. Our third channel is on-premise, and this would include schools and restaurants, such as uh, Yum Brands, KFC, Taco Bell, and Pizza Hut. Intensive distribution characterizes the marketing channel for Pepsi Cola and other soft drinks. Product sales are directly related to the number of retailers carrying the product 
and the amount of shelf space and promotional activities they are willing to allocate to the product. Soft drinks are considered to be convenience products by most consumers. They are not willing to spend time or effort shopping for these products. Soft drinks are bought frequently, impulsively, and routinely. Therefore, the ideal market exposure for soft drinks is to distribute the product through as many outlets as possible. Supermarkets and other grocery retailers account for 48% of Pepsi Cola's soft drink volume and represent the most important type of outlet. Food service operators like fountains and restaurants account for 21% of Pepsi Cola's soft drink volume and are the second most important type of outlet. The convenience store and gas station channel and the vending machine operator channel are tied for third place in terms of outlet importance, each accounting for about an eighth of Pepsi volume. Mass merchandise stores, warehouse clubs, and drug stores account for about 8% of Pepsi Cola soft drink volume. The salespeople at Pepsi Americas work very hard to push the product through the channel in a manner that complements PepsiCo's pull strategies in the form of national advertising and sales promotion campaigns. The objective of the pull strategies is to build brand awareness and loyalty. The objective of the push strategies is to get retailers to allocate as much shelf and display space as possible to Pepsi products, to place vending machines in as many good locations as possible, and to provide incentives to sell and promote Pepsi products. In our large format uh, channels, such as Kroger and Walmart, we do give them incentives to display and advertise our products. Typically, these are called Customer Marketing Agreements, or CMAs. In exchange for a payback at the end of a quarter from the purchase price, these customers agree to give us displays or will feature us in their newspaper ads. They also agree to give us in dial displays. Usually there's a minimum quantity of cases that we require to receive these marketing allowances. In terms of the channels of distribution, uh, it's extremely important that Pepsi America bring in products when our customers need them. On a normal day when we're going through to make an order out for the following day or for displays for the following week, Mark and I will get together, look at what he's got in the back room, uh, what he needs on the sales floor, We'll take a look at movement of his shelf items. We have a, a unit here. We can scan the items, see the movement by day, and tell what's moving better than others, uh, what items are best. Based on that, as well as the price, and how much of that we need to bring in the next day. We also go through and look at what's going on sale the following week, and we try to get those plans in early so he can let his plant know what he's going to need and when we're going to bring it in so we have enough product to build displays for the following week. No matter how good your product is, if you can't get it in the store, it's just, it's not good. It's not good business. Pepsi Americas provides fewer services to the food service operators in the on-premise channel. Local food service accounts usually enter into informal agreements with the local PepsiCo bottler. The bottler is responsible for delivering the syrup concentrate and carbonated water to the place of business. The food service employees then connect the containers to the soda fountain and ensure that the product is mixed correctly. Large national accounts, such as Wendy's, negotiate agreements with PepsiCo and pay PepsiCo directly for the product. These national agreements specify the price that is to be paid and sometimes require that certain promotional considerations be met. The bottler is then paid by PepsiCo to act as its delivery agent. Whereas soft drinks are considered staple items in supermarkets and grocery stores, they are often impulse items when purchased from vending machines. As a result, 
The objective for the bottling company in this portion of the on-premise channel is to have its products placed in as many vending machines as possible and in locations where purchase volume is likely to be high. Another consideration is the right mix of product and vending location. Many of PepsiCo's new products are niche brands that appeal to a certain type of consumer. For example, Mountain Dew Code Red appeals to urbanites, women, and African Americans who had not previously shown any impulse to do the do. So next time you're enjoying that good feeling of a cold Pepsi on a hot day, think about what has to happen to get that product to the store, or to a vending machine, or to a soda fountain. Remember that Pepsi is made available through channel partnering in an indirect channel developed by PepsiCo and maintained through the years by marketing programs designed to improve channel efficiency and cooperation. The institutional arrangements inherent in PepsiCo's contractual channel influence the manner in which promotional programs and distribution activities are coordinated within the channel. PepsiCo's independent bottlers are important channel partners in the transporting, storing, and the handling of the product, as well as the customer service and sales promotion aspects of the marketing function. For more and updated information about PepsiCo and Pepsi Americas, visit their websites at PepsiCo.com and PepsiAmericas.com. Okay, listen up! Someone leave their lunch at the last rest stop! There's a uh, sandwich and... Oh, we got a Pepsi! Still cold! Name on the back says Spartacus! Is there a Spartacus here to claim this? I'm Spartacus! 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 I'm Spartacus. I'm Spartacus. I'm Spartacus. I'm Spartacus.